Hey guys, welcome back. It's season one, or season two, if you've been watching since the beginning. But technically, it's season one with this title, and it's going to be packed. I mean, yeah, my co-star's not with me today. Some stuff came up, but I'm going to get him back here. There's going to be some videos he's got to be on. He's got to be on, like some food challenges. We got some uh, spicy food showdowns. Got some unboxing videos. All coming up this year. It's going to be packed. But thanks for tuning in. It's Bringing the Bacon with Nate. Today. For this first video. Of the first season. I actually had something else planned. I had planned to do a mashup. Between Chick-fil-A's chicken sandwich. Spicy chicken sandwich anyway. And... Uh, Popeye's new chicken, spicy chicken sandwich. But as it so happens, is people in the in the town where Chick Fil A just showed up, they just opened their doors uh, about half a month ago, are still lined out to the highway. I I mean I I know it's a it's a good restaurant, but I've never ate there, so I'm just assuming it's good by all the people that's there. What's so crazy about it? You know, they're still lined up all the way to the highway. Jeez. Come on now. It's food. There's a hundred other restaurants. Anyway, that's what I had planned for today. But I didn't feel like fighting the crowd. My truck's kind of oblong and wonky. I need a smaller vehicle. So ends up I'm just going to be doing this today. What is it? It's your favorite hot sauces that you go to the Mexican restaurant. Okay, you got the red and the green kind. They're uh, El Yucateco or Yucateco. If I'm butchering that, I'm, I apologize. But there's usually the green and the grit, the green and the red habanero chili sauce. Okay, there's a difference in these that I've got today. These are the kind that you go to Walmart, and or you can find them online. And I think there's one other kind that I have not looked into yet, but that's irrelevant today because I picked these up. We've got one that I'm going to try. I'm going to try them bare spoon, nothing on them, so I can get just the flavor of the pepper. Because I think hot sauce is very important that you balance the flavors of, or the flavor to the heat. Because you don't want something so hot you can't taste it otherwise you're just glutton for punishment i mean that's basically all you're doing but if you have something that tastes good tastes so good even though it's hot you're not going to be able to put it down so well depends on how hot it is um and how much your stomach will be torn up later so today we have el yucateco's hot sauce salsa picante de chili habanero and i'm pretty sure i butchered that the Black Label Reserve, whatever that means, uh, comes in the... It looks black from far off, but it's actually a really, really dark gray. And then also, there's two. Oh, two, I know, right? Um, same brand, ex extra hot sauce with three X's. Triple extra hot sauce. Uh, chili Arbonero, uh Mayan sauce. From Yucatan, I'm guessing the Yucatan Peninsula. I think I read somewhere that the black and the um, the black and the green and the red, they have eight, around eight or nine thousand Scoville units. I think, actually, I think the red has eight or nine and the yellow, not the yellow, green has like seven. Or it could be the other way around. Either way, they're all around in the 8, 9 mark. This has 11 or 12,000. It's still not on the hot, hot end. But, you know, growing up, I loved hot sauce. I still do. I still love hot sauce. Like your typical Franks, your Louisiana, and your Texas Pete, and Crystal, and all them. But, here's the deal. I had never really got it much experience with sauces hotter than that that I knew what they were. So today, it's going to be a little 
test to see how my taste buds react. And I have the new... I, di I didn't do a review on this because it would have been such a quick review. I don't know if it would have been worth it. But the new Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. I mean, none of these are sponsors. But this is the closest thing I've ever seen a diet drink get to a regular drink. Coke Zero has nothing on it. Um, and I know I'm... I'm I'm not saying that Coke Zero is supposed to taste like Mountain Dew. No, it's not. But what I'm saying is Coke Zero tasting like regular Coca-Cola. Or Pepsi Zero Sugar. Either one, they don't get as close as this does to the regular Mountain Dew. There is a little bit of an aftertaste, but that's expected. It is a diet drink, and it is sweetened with aspartame and sucralose. So they mix them both together. Okay. Anyway, so I've got that to help cool it down, which if you all have done your research, you would know that spicy foods are not cooled down by Cokes, so I'm really just making it worse for me. But anyway, that's all I've got. Uh, water makes it worse too. I didn't feel like bringing milk because I didn't have anything to keep it completely cold, and I didn't want to take a chance on it getting hot with the air vents and then making it a bad day at the end. So... Um, nutrition facts. Look like the Black Label stuff has nothing in it other than a little bit of sodium. Because there's no calories. Is there? No, no calories. Anyway, it, it, in case you were weight conscious, I need to go on a diet. I know I do. But especially before I start food challenges. So, as you can see, I've not opened it. Well, I hate that. The preparations don't come off. Or they don't rip like they're supposed to. There we go. Yeah. I've got the got to where the lid will open. It doesn't matter now. So I'm going to take this. I guess I better shake it at first. Because it has been sitting on a shelf since God knows when. I'm sure within USDA standards or FDA standards, whichever one controls that. Now, you wait and watch. I'll pour like a bunch out on the spoon. Then I'll feel like I need to. Ooh. That's a deep, smoky flavor. Or scent flavor. I ain't even tasted it yet. I feel like I'm nervous. Like, I shouldn't be nervous. I've done these videos many times, but I should feel like I'm a little nervous. Okay. Well, too much. I told you I'd put too much. Now, the weird thing about hot sauce is, is a lot of people refrigerate it, but it actually, I don't think, no, it don't need to be refrigerated. A lot of people do, though. Like, they'll stick it in their condiment section on the refrigerator. See? Notice what I did. I didn't rub my eye. <laughs> I'm smarter than I look. I've had a lot of experience with peppers. Never their hot sauce. So, here's the Black Label Reserve. Very, very, very smoky. Very sm <coughs> smoky. But not, it's like backyard barbecue smoky. Oh, that would be really good in like some pulled pork. <coughs> I swallowed it a little too fast. I think I got shot by the spice level because it, it hits instant. But it's not very hot. It just kind of shocks you. It's very manageable. But when, I, when it shocked me, I swallowed it. So my th throat's burning more than my actual tongue is so that was actually really good very manage manageable burn um i think it would be a lot worse on hot foods because you know hot foods would make it feel worse what i do with the other one there it is go ahead and shake it up and we get this uh triple extra hot pukey looking sauce down try it Well, if I can get it open, there it is. They really want to make sure that adults can't get in this child proofing. I don't know if you've all noticed this, but stuff that's child proof tends to be harder to get open than for adults and children. Maybe they should just stop all efforts whatsoever. Alrighty, here is the 
triple extra hot. I borrowed an extra spoon, but I think my tongue cleaned this one off pretty good. Or at least got enough of it off that I can't, I can't mix some flavors. I'm actually kind of nervous about this one because I don't think I've had a an actual sauce. But yeah, I don't think I've ever had an actual sauce that is a, a that I know of is above the ten thousand rank on the Scoville unit. <sighs> I try not to swallow with some so fast. Whew. Like I said, it's a very instant hit. But it's not that hot. But then again, I will say this. For, I have this theory. Uh, because I've watched a lot of research... On hot peppers and chilies and capsaicin and stuff, which is the stuff that makes the chili hot. It's a mind trick. Because capsaicin, when it hits your tongue, it registers as every single flavor at once. So it overloads your tongue, neurosensors. So they send to the brain, they don't know how to react to it, so they're like, it's hot. It's burning. Trying to, I guess you... To tell you to avoid eating more of it. Kind of like a defense mechanism of the plant, I guess you could say. So, the I feel like the more you eat spicy foods, the more you're used to them you're going to be. So, in a sense, one could get to where the... Uh, what's the hottest pepper now? Carolina Reaper doesn't even bother them. Of course, I know there is Pepper X, but it's not hit production yet. They invented it, but it's not hit full production yet that I know of. At the time of this video, in my knowledge, it is not. So, that's all for today. That sauce is actually really good. Uh, it's a little bit milder in flavor than the other one, but it is. It hits a little bit harder with spice. So, thank you all for tuning in. Share this. Subscribe. Hit the little notification bell. And comment on, on uh, sauces you've tried and that you want me to try and punish myself with. Even if they're, doesn't matter how hot they are, I'm willing to try any of them. Been looking into getting the hot ones, if you've ever seen that show um, on YouTube. Some of their sauces. I'd like to try the last dab. Alright, so, that being said, that's it for today. Until next time, God bless y'all.